Hello, my name is Julian Edgar and I'm the author of the book you see in front of you, Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car. What I want to do in today's video is talk about air curtains. So here's an example of an air curtain on a Renault concept car and the air curtain is formed by this big gap that's placed in front of the front wheel. It picks up air from the high pressure area at the front and then it feeds it past the face of the wheel. Now what's that do? Well, here we have a Ford graphic showing the air curtains that are fitted to the current Mustang. And you can see again that airflow flowing in that vent at the front. And then what you can now see is there's better attachment on the panel that's directly behind the front wheel. So it gives better flow attachment on those front panels, therefore reducing drag. Here's an example of it being done on a Range Rover. You can see the air input there, the inlet, and then you can see it flowing out there. But what's interesting with this one is we also have from a Jaguar Land Rover, we also have a CFD showing the difference in predicted velocity, predicted speed of flow. Now, on this one, you don't have the air curtain. There's no slot there feeding air through. And you can see that the area of blue, which is the slow flowing air, is quite wide. And of course, it extends then onto that panel behind the wheel. Whereas this one, you can see that there's much less slow flowing air, and therefore the attachment on the panel behind is actually better. But does it work? Uh, I was lucky enough to have a Jaguar loaned to me by Jaguar uh, Australia to do some uh, aerodynamic testing on and the XE Jaguar has got air curtains. This top picture shows the air curtains open and you can see that there's pretty good flow across onto this front panel even though it's an open spoked wheel which is certainly going to be disrupting flow. That was with the air curtain open. I then stuffed a bit of foam rubber in the opening of the vent and you can see here that the flow is much poorer on the panels behind the wheel. So yes, air curtains certainly do make a difference and it's a difference easily able to be demonstrated by wool tufting. But what if you don't have air curtains on your car? Is it possible to create your own? Here's some testing I did on my Honda Insight. I'm using a little wing-shaped aluminium panel here to create a front mount slot. The slot contracts in the area as you go towards the rear, and then it's designed to feed air across the wheel. Now you can see from the wall tuft on the, on the wheel, and you can also see from the wall tufts on the panels behind the wheel, that the flow is pretty good. Unfortunately though, uh, the flow is already pretty good on the Honda Insight in that area. And so it wasn't an unambiguously enormous improvement by fitting the uh, pseudo air curtains, but I can certainly imagine that on some cars that have quite poor flow attachment here, uh, fitting a panel of that sort could be quite effective. And as I say, easy to demonstrate by the use of wool tough testing. Air curtains, an interesting area of development uh, in, in cars of the last five years or so. Uh, almost every new car that you look at these days have air curtains. Just look for that little vertical slot in front of the front wheels. It's all covered in my book, Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car. Thank you.